This prayer battle deliverance session is about when spirits manifest. All that exists is manifestation. <coughs> Write it down. All that exists is manifestation. In the next few minutes, I will show you the secrets behind all that exists in your life that you don't like. All that you want to exist but you don't have. How to move from what exists that you don't like to what exists that you want, desire and like. It's all about what this next few minutes is about. And as always, the Word of God is our working material. If you are new, please listen very, very carefully. Watch, watch how we will move from the Scriptures to prayer. And as a matter of fact, we will be learning to pray by praying. We will be learning to pray by praying. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. That is to pray non-stop. Pastor, how can I pray non-stop? It is an attitude. It is a spiritual posture to pray without ceasing. It is a thing of the Spirit. As long as the Spirit is manifesting and it is the Holy Spirit, you are communicating with the Holy Spirit 24-7. And that communication with the Holy Spirit is what we call prayer. So to pray without ceasing is really implying your communication with the Holy Spirit 24-7. And of course, it is based on the premise that you have the Holy Spirit. The most important thing that can happen to anyone alive today is getting the Holy Spirit that you lost in the garden. And that is what salvation is all about. That is why you can classify men into two categories. Those who have the Holy Spirit and those who don't have the Holy Spirit. I am praying that those who are listening to me, that you have the Holy Spirit. And if you don't have it, I am asking by the permission of the Holy Ghost to call the Holy Spirit to enter into you as you listen to me. Let there be an impartation of the Holy Spirit upon every listening ear and upon every understanding heart in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit Come upon everyone that is listening to me. It's my prayer right now in the name of Jesus. So as we get into this prayer battle deliverance session, you will be praying. And that is why I am, I'm, 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 I want to call it when spirits manifest. When spirits manifest. When spirits manifest. When spirits manifest manifest and I will take you to the scriptures as I take you to the scriptures I would like you to also open your own scripture let us develop that culture going forward whenever I call a scripture even though I am showing you have your own whether be it your phone be it your bible but I need you to make the sacrifice and interact not only by your eyes looking at the screen and seeing the scripture, but also by engaging your hand, your body, with that scripture, opening to it. So opening to that scripture is part of our deliverance technique going forward. So whenever we see a scripture open, please don't just feed it with your eyes. Open your own version, open your own Bible, your personal Bible. You have a personal word. And may that word look at it right now. Going, let's take a very quick look at this. 
So when when spirits when spirit manifest, depending on what spirit, you will do stuffs. When spirit is manifesting, you will do stuffs. In fact, spirits spirits manifest so that stuff may get done. <laughs> I repeat, spirits manifest so that stuff may get done. Everything is done by spirits. Remember in John chapter 15 when Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. Nothing means nothing. Me is referring to the Holy Spirit. It is without the Holy Spirit, you can do nothing. Everything good that you will ever do is an act of the Holy Spirit. Every good thing that you will ever do, every obedience and sacrifice to God that you will ever make is by the Holy Spirit. Whatever you are, whatever you do, whatever you see, whatever you touch, whatever you hear, whatever you smell, whatever you say, these are there are spirits at work. For everything we do, there are spirits at work. The earlier we get into this groove and learn it, the better our advanced spiritual warfare. So get it that everything is a spirit. Everything is a spirit manifesting. But what spirit is the question? What spirit is manifesting whenever you are feeling yourself useless? What spirit is manifesting whenever you are feeling yourself a failure? What spirit manifesting whenever you are trying to sleep but you can't sleep and you keep awake? What spirit whenever you have a pain at the back of your head? What spirit is manifesting with those incisions on your face, those incisions on your body? Those tattoos on your body, those incisions on your waistline, what spirit is manifesting? Everything is a spirit manifesting. What spirit is manifesting when you are in a marriage, but the marriage is fire, turbulence? What spirit is manifesting when you are always in a litigation mode, a controversy mode, a strife mode with your helper or your partner? What spirit is manifesting when People will see you today like you and tomorrow they hate you. What spirit is manifesting when people see you and they turn their back to you? What spirit is manifesting is why we are having the prayers we are going to be praying now. There are spirits manifesting. Let us use the word. I. We started by looking at Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And you will be witnesses unto me. Starting from Jerusalem. You see, whenever spirit is mentioned in the Bible as coming upon somebody, it always expresses the purpose. That is what I'm going to show you now. Whenever spirit is manifesting, it always will show the purpose of the manifestation. So whatever is manifesting in you, whatever is becoming visible in you, there is a spirit making it visible. There is a spirit that is making it visible. Whatever is becoming visible out of you, around you, there is a spirit making it. Pastor, is everything in spirit? Yes. It may just be difficult to understand and to try to imagine. But with time, when you see the basis of it in the Bible, you will understand. I want to show you now, whenever a spirit is said to manifest, when, whenever the spirit of God comes upon somebody, you will often see the purpose for why it is coming. In fact, you will be surprised that the first time that the Bible will record that a spirit comes upon somebody, it wasn't on a preacher that was first regarded that the Spirit of God comes upon somebody. It was at the construction of the tabernacle. At the beginning of the construction of the tabernacle, 
The Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 35 that the Spirit of God comes upon Bezalel. The Spirit came upon me for a purpose, to do the things I'm going to show you now. But So, let's start with what is visible by you that you don't like. Every thing becoming visible, unpleasant things around you that are coming into visibility, let them die. I want you to say that prayer to start up. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my marriage, in my career, in my relationship, in the lives of my children, the unpleasant things that are becoming visible, Holy Ghost, let them die in the name of Jesus. Talk to the Lord. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life die. Every unpleasant thing that is becoming visible on my body die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing becoming visible in my body die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing becoming visible around me in my house die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant, ungodly, unholy, unrighteous thing becoming visible around me die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing becoming visible in the lives of my children, die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing becoming visible in my spouse, die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant attitude, unpleasant character, becoming visible in my spouse, die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing, unpleasant attitude, unpleasant character, becoming visible in me, die in the name of Jesus. Every unpleasant thing becoming visible in my life, die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life, die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life, die in the name of Jesus. The unpleasant things becoming visible in my life, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Good job. Good job. And when spirits manifest, when spirits manifest. I showed you the first scripture we were using, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But we are going to start for this next few minutes. It's in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 18. I want you to open your own Bible. Please develop the habit. It may take you time, but do it. You see, th that practice of Opening the word of God is, is a righteous act by itself. Develop that habit. Don't just sit and be looking what is shown to you. Also, engage your own Bible. There must be a Bible that you turn to every day. Bring them out in moments like this. If you don't have one, get one. Be it electronic, be it physical, but Always have a Bible that you are engaging daily. That determines the kind of fire you will carry. It's the word that I speak not like fire. You need that word like fire in you. When the enemy touches you, they will touch fire. Ex Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Don't be drunk with wine. Because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. I told you, whenever the Spirit is mentioned, the purpose is also mentioned. This is not different. And let me show you that before we engage this particular scripture. That is very important when spirits manifest. 
see very carefully. Don't be drunk with wine. But because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Look at what the Holy Spirit, what is the purpose of being filled with the Holy Spirit? According to this Ephesians chapter 5 verse 6, look at, it's for life, we understand, but look, look it quoting some specific manifestations. The singing of psalms and hymns is a manifestation and spiritual songs among yourselves. Making music to the Lord in your heart. It is by the Holy Spirit. You see, those activities mentioned, they are by the Holy Spirit. So if you are doing things that are contrary, they are by a spirit. May the spirit working contrary to the Holy Spirit in your life. May the spirits die. Pray. Spirits working contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirits working contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. The Spirit walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Do you see how we got to that prayer? Now, I want you to expand it by praying it like this. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life, in my marriage, in my career. Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in me. In the name of Jesus. Pray like that. Spirit is walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life, in my marriage, in my career. Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in me, in the name of Jesus. I am a carrier of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life, in my marriage, in my career, in my environment, in the lives of my children, in the life of my spouse, Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life, in my marriage, in my career. Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in me in the name of Jesus. Spirits walking contrary. Spirits walking contrary in my life, marriage and career. Die by the force of the Holy Spirit in me. In the name of Jesus, spirits walking contrary to the Holy Spirit in my life, in my marriage, in my career, die by the force of the Holy Spirit in me, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Good job. So back to that scripture. You, you can see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is for a purpose. What is the purpose here? To sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourself. Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourself. What song do you like singing? Somebody called me while I was back in Nigeria a while ago. And in the car she was driving, she was singing. There was this, she was listening either to, I believe, a CD or a radio. And she was Sexual healing, healing baby, sexual healing. If that is the music you like to hear, don't worry, but no, it is a spirit that is manifesting and giving you that appetite. Without him, we can do nothing. Even the music we listen to is an indication of the spirit in us. I repeat, even the music we listen to is an indication of the spirit that we carry in us. The things you like to do, they are indications of the spirit you carry in you. By what spirit was that sister liking to hear worldly music? If you love worldly music and you are enjoying it, eh, no problem. Just know that there is a spirit and that spirit is not the one that is prescribing here to sing 
psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. So if your own is not psalms, it's not hymns, it's not spiritual song, and making music to the Lord in your heart, if you are not, if your music is not to the Lord, the Bible say everything you do do to the glory of God. If you naturally just like those worldly music or those worldly things, and they are the things tying you down. Just know that these things that you do, there is a spirit working it. When spirits manifest, you see the way the spirit don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And see what the Spirit does. The Holy Spirit will make you to sing psalms, to sing hymns, to sing spiritual songs, among even among yourself, making music to the Lord in your heart. Not sexual healing, healing baby. No, not that one. And give thanks for everything to God. The giving of thanks is by a spirit. We speak of the spirit of thanksgiving. And give thanks. Romans chapter 1, it says, And because they did not give thanks to God, everything is by spirit. And give thanks for everything to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It did not end there. I must quickly put this in. It did not end there. See how it's subtitled it. Spirit guided relationships, wives and husbands. See, the spirit you have been asked to be filled with, that is working music, giving of thanks, it also work relationships. What is going on in your relationship is an evidence of the spirit in you. Every spirit by which you litigate in relationship, every spirit by which you fail in relationship, every spirit by which you suffer in relationship, let the spirit die. In the name of Jesus, every spirit by which you litigate in relationship, every spirit by which you fight in relationship, every spirit by which you suffer in relationship, let the spirit die. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That is a very important prayer that somebody destiny is ready for. We will hit the missile hard. I want you to say the prayer. It is a mouthful, but I need you to go into it with every fiber in your body. Shall we go? Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirits die in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationship. Blood of Jesus, let the spirits die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationship. Blood of Jesus, let the spirits die. Shall we war? Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirits die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationship. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirits die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit by which I always 
end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirit die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirit die in the name of Jesus. Weave the prayer, weave it. Every spirit by which my spouse and my children always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which my spouse and my children always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which my spouse and my children always suffer in relationships. Blood of Jesus, let the spirit die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good job. Good job. You see, it is not how many prayer, but the, the kind of prayer. Listen, you see this, the way the prayers we have prayed so far, the way they came out of the scriptures. So we're speaking of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. It shows you what the Spirit is to do when you are filled with your Spirit. Don't be filled with wine. And it included relationships. Somebody needs to take that prayer again. Somebody really needs to take that prayer again. See, spirit-guided relationship. Relationships, how they play out. It's a manifestation of the spirits. What spirit do you carry? Do you carry a litigating spirit? Do you carry a fighting spirit? Do you carry the spirit that makes you suffer? May those spirits die. Look at how it explains it. And further, submit to one another out of reverence for God. A continuation of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. You cannot submit to one another if you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. For wives, this means submit to your husband as to the Lord. For a husband is the head of his wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of his body, the church. And the church submits to Christ. So you wives should also submit to your husbands in everything. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He gave up his life for her to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of God's word. Cleansing of God's word. Cleansing by the cleansing of God's word. God's word we are dealing with now is cleansing us. It's working deliverance as we are partaking of the word. See, the bit I have read to you, all in conjunction with verse 18, don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. It is an injunction. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. When you are filled with the Holy Spirit, there is a purpose for which the Holy Spirit is filling you. It's not for joke. And that purpose must be fulfilled. That is how life can be turned around. I want you to go say, I'm going to put up that prayer again for just one or two minutes that we have left. I'm going to put up that prayer and I want you to pray it again. We will continue from right from here. I want you to say that prayer again. Are you ready? Make sure your mouth is not closed. You will shout, every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships, every spirit by which I always fight in relationships, every spirit by which I suffer in relationships, blood of Jesus, let the spirit die in the name of Jesus. Every spirit by which I always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which I always fight in relationships. Every spirit by which I 
suffer in relationship. Blood of Jesus, let the Spirit die in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Please, take that prayer. He can come back to say these prayers. We will continue right from there. I pray for you. Every spirit by which you always end up litigating in relationships. Every spirit by which you always fight in relationship. Every spirit by which you suffer in relationship. Blood of Jesus, let the spirit die. To close, I remember Michelle Obama saying that marriage is a hard work. She said there are times she could not stand. There are years she couldn't stand Barack Obama. She, she, they are, they are husband and wife, are, but she just couldn't stand him. Those, I couldn't stand him. I can't stand him. Without him, you can do nothing. They are manifestations. Whatever manifestation is making you suffer in your relationship, as you do this prayer again, by the power of the Holy Ghost, that spirit shall die. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Shall we shout three hallelujahs? Hallelujah. 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 Amen.